At number 48 on the iconic 100 list is the 1961 Fleer Jerry West rookie card. Certainly one of the most iconic uh, vintage basketball cards of all time. And here to talk with us about this card today is Corey. You all know him as Yam Wax from Instagram. Corey, we're grateful to have you today. Uh, this card again came in at number 48 on the iconic 100 list. How does that, how does that placement sort of sound to you? Ooh, you know, uh, it's hard because you think about Jerry West and how iconic he is. And I think his, his level is greater than maybe the card itself is, right? He is the logo. And if you're the logo, right, and, and you know, you're talking about, well, could Kobe or could Kobe not take over the logo for the NBA? Um, isn't that pretty dang iconic? So I think as a personality in sports, he's probably top 30. But you're, I actually think the card is about right because um, – it's a, a card that I think sometimes is um, given second fiddle from that 61 Fleer set to the Wilt Chamberlain and just a bevy of great rookie cards in that set and an iconic set. So I think that makes the card itself um, incredibly iconic as well. But West himself um, was so iconic, Mr. Clutch. I think that's something people don't even realize because now he's only known as the logo, but in his years uh, playing for the Lakers, uh, they knew him as Mr. Clutch because he hit so many big shots and brought a championship to LA in 72. You're you're the sort of person who who has a, a good grasp on a lot of different elements within our hobby. And I always love watching your content. I think it's some of the best stuff that's out there. It's filled with passion. This is a card that I have a lot of passion for mm. because the 61 Fleer set is just it's just artwork. It's just yeah. a gloriously designed set. I'm glad that, you know, we've got multiple cards from the set that, that made it. And as I think about it, just in the back of my mind real quick, I haven't done the research on this yet, but I think this may be the set, the basketball card set that had the most cards on it on the whole of the iconic 100 list. Does that sound like the way that it ought to be to you? Or is there another set that you think deserves that sort of, that sort of uh, prestige? Uh, it's to me it is the it is the probably most iconic set of vintage basketball um I, I love those early sets you've got the 48 bowman um headed spearheaded by the mike in and then 57 the bill russell the first time that you get standard sides cards uh, but it's it's a set where you have one uh one individual really leading the pack, I think. But 61 has so many great superstars in it. The NBA with the help of Mike and then Russell and then Wilt splashing on the scene. Um, it just made such an impact, I think. So that 61 for setting, like you said, it's art, it's beautiful. Um, there's just some great little uh, touches to it, like the West having a giraffe as the Lakers logo. Sure. Like, <laughs> what is that? And that's one of the reasons I personally love the card. Uh, I have a raw copy, you know, I'm... Uh, uh, I'd love to get a graded copy at some point, but um, I, I think it's a really beautiful set and has a lot to do with um, why this West is so important. Yeah, I, I like this card because like a lot of cards that are iconic, it's one where you can have somebody who's who's a collector who you know wants to get a copy that's actually not very much money. You can get a, a raw copy, especially one that's pretty beat up for not you know, not crazy money. Um, or you can be the sort of person who wants to go get a really like high end, you know, like an eight or a nine, which is, you know, in the tens of thousands of dollars. For me, I, I do, this is one of a handful, maybe five or six cards on the whole list that I actually own. And mine is, a, I'm really proud of mine. It's got an autograph right in the middle of it. It's a bright blue autograph. And some people don't love the autographs on the vintage cards. I like it. I like, I like the image of West on this. Again, I think it's mm -hmm. one of the most iconic sets. Uh, and I think in basketball, I agree with you, it's the most iconic vintage set. And other than maybe 86 Fleer, maybe, right. I think it's the most iconic basketball card. I, I agree. Maybe 86 Fleer outpaces it in, in today's view of what's iconic. But mm -hmm. I think if people knew more about it, gave, gave it a fair shake, I think the 61 could top it. And it is in my mind. Um, but let's back up to talking about uh, what a great photo it is. Uh, we have to talk about Jerry West flat top, man. That thing is <laughs> sharp. <laughs> Am I right? It looks like he could, uh, you know, if he ran into somebody the wrong way that he could draw blood with that thing. <laughs> It's tight. So um, I'm a big fan of the, of the West look. And I mean, he came in the league averaging what 17 points right off, right off the bat, but 
by the second season, he was already um, up to 31 points a game, averaged 27 for his career. And um, when I think about his career, I, I think that 72 season is probably one of my favorite. It was third to last season, I believe, and won the, won the chip with Wilt and with Pat Riley coming off the bench on that team. But um, he averaged you know, 26-ish points, which is a little low for him, but uh, almost 10 assists. And it just shows how versatile a player he was. 14-time um, All-Star, won a couple, a uh, few defensive player, the, not defensive player of the year, but made first team all defense. So it just showed, you know, he gave it his all. He was that kind of guy uh, in his career. And obviously like his, beyond being the logo of the NBA, his career really extended to supporting so many franchises and their success after basketball too, after he played. Corey, super grateful for your perspective on number 48, the 1961 Fleer Jerry West card. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another guest for card number 47 on the Iconic 100 list. And until then, happy collecting.